When you see this goddess in front of this hole, in front of this break, the universe is separated by waters above and waters below. We can even see waves through the moon. Check this out. And the stars behave like they're submerged in water. So our ancestors was personifying the science of the heavens. What we just witnessed were videos to show that they were correct about the nature of the heavens. Because now that we got videos to see this stuff, no one can explain these ripples that we see going across the moon. And when you look at the stars, it show you why we say twinkle, twinkle, little star. It's like light reflecting on water, just like we see with swimming pools. So the opening or the break in the waters is symbolic of childbirth as well. Once you enter the break, you enter a new body and a new reality where the doctors are saying your mother's waters just broke. When your soul go through the portal as above, so below and your next destination and your next avatar, when you're born again, the doctors are going to say her waters broke. And that means you just entered the portal in the heavens and it plays out on earth as you about to be born. When the mind enters this portal, it seats itself in your body. Your body is being formed as you're journeying to your next destination. By the time the genie get to the lamp, the lamp will be made for him. So as your body is forming in your mama fetal bag, by the time your soul get to it, it'll seat itself in it. It's making a body for itself as it journeys to the mother. They give you this example with the MGM lion inside of the little ring. This is our soul entering the egg. This look like a sperm entering the egg. Is consciousness entering the body. This is one spiritual act that is taking place on all layers of reality. When the mind enters the portal, the mind is entering the body. It's one and the same as above, so below. They turned this into a game called basketball, you know, getting the ball through the hoop. So this is the one that's holding the gates open for us, keeping the gates open. And this technology that's creating a break in the ether is the same thing they trying to reverse engineer what they're calling CERN. It's them just trying to reverse engineer the technology that the ancients were very well aware of, of how to make stargates.